and I forgot to record all that, which is great. It's just for the benefit of uh, anyone watching on YouTube. Oh, beautiful. Uh, we leveled up and took this skill. So we're able to put in, build in one more permanent hull mod and went through a lot of the fleet and gave them basically better shields. So stabilized shields, shield conversion, that kind of thing on a number of ships. That's it. And you guys are running. If you say don't run, you'll die tired. A lot of fighters, but it's a lot of crappy fighters. Which means we're going to go into this. Gonna deploy you guys. Deploy all the Musashi ships. Uh, we'll deploy a few cruisers. And that will do, I think. We're going to be taking the sensor jammer, so we'll actually be able to deploy heavy ships if we need them. Did I? I didn't deploy my own ship, did I? <laughs> yeah. Right, we'll let them take that, and then uh, I'll deploy my own ship. To a maximum seven twenty. Oh. Oh well. The other fleet does. <clears throat> Death of a phase ship. Fighters. Our, our little destroyer here that we've had for a long time with all the archer, uh, not archer guns, plasma drivers. Actually, we did deploy a lot of heavy ordnance anyway. Like this guy alone can alpha pretty much everything. Especially if he has all five turrets facing you. You do not want all five turrets facing you. A lot going on in these battles. Our very brave carrier pilots do like to get mixed in there.
Imperial cruiser. Uh, when the battle fleets of the Gothic Sector mod gets updated a bit more, we'll definitely be doing a run of that. I'm hoping that the battles in um, Fallen Frontier are kind of like this, that they're detailed, because I'm pretty sure like it's more the individual ships matter more than having massive fleets. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Normally I'd take that. <clears throat> we'll, we'll take that in, like, in, the, in our next run, definitely. Uh, we don't need it right now. And we got paid as well. Grab all of that. Cool. So we were at 900,000 again. And that's pretty much everything there. How much is all the way down there? Only threats. No impact. Multiple planned attacks against Nikolaev. Uh, no perceptible impact. We might want to head to Nikolaev. We can take the gate in Yama. Um, go into the bar. We can talk to the person about where that is and find out. But that is what we'll do. And uh, we can resupply it Nikolaev as well. Okay, no problem. If they want to make that mistake, we'll let them. Sort that out. Uh, we don't have a market here, which is unfortunate. We could build a market here. Which we will. We need to upgrade the mega ports. We need to get more AI cores. So I'd like to just sell all of that all of that anyway all 
170 grand to go out there? No. No, no, no. Freelance admin, what can you do? Fleet logistics. Sounds good. For no reason other than... Well, you're better than him. Right, we'll hold off on that for the moment. Yeah, to hold off on that. It's not gonna make any difference. Dun, 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 dun. At least we have a administrator in backup. We put you in there. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let me get a bonus. Let's see how that goes. Uh, we are going there. I was just thinking that there's a mod that puts in the market music of, um, not a kazoo, but it's one of those meme musics, and I don't have it installed. But then we could set that as our own music as well if it was installed. I think that'd be hilarious. Uh, you don't have co uh, commerce either. So, grab a few supplies. I'll go to the dockside bar. Okay, the red planet. Gotcha. Did Meridian? Oh, that's the red planet. Okay. Jesus. Right, there was nobody at the bar there to talk to. It was interesting. Mm. I suppose because it's not having any. Oh, we're averted, but I should read the whole thing. Yeah, so we we have no impact on our stuff. That's fine. <clears throat> Let's avert that. Just to avoid the hassle. Forty two thousand. Take Kenny. What was the Hades, wasn't it? It was Hades and that was in Corsica. Uh, let's head up to Prism Freeport. Talk to our remnant friend.
I saw what you had. We shall take that. in here sell all of that on the black markets and again i'm thinking everything down here arbitrators i kind of want to keep that's about it <clears throat> buy all of that for now uh, hopefully we'll be at a positive at the end of the month. Otherwise that could be a thing. The Maelstrom... What mod are you from? Oh, Mac and Avoid, of course. Of course, of course, of course. IBB agent, eh? Oh, <laughs> lovely. That's uh is that the Cabal one? Yeah it is. As uh, seventy thousand bounty on the thing there, so let's go do that. I'm just make a quick book. <laughs> Excuse me. ships didn't actually have that much uh, you'll sell for more than anything else so we can we can just take everything It's fine. It's fine. Consider military options. We shall be engaging in the station. That's where in command over to you. We'll actually deploy you this time. And then I think we'll deploy you. You. You too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Suppose we deploy you as well, actually. Urchin suppressors, armager batteries.
Sparrowhawk is lethal. Yeah, a loot. That will do it. Grab all of that. Gives us a little bit of fuel. It gets us paid too. And the Imperium likes us a little bit more. Good, good, good. So we are pretty low on fuel. We can just head here and we can top up. Good on supplies for the moment. It's just the fuel we need. Sort that, get rid of that. Buy a bit of fuel. Not a huge amount here. Uh, yeah, that row can go. Keep all of that. And I clicked the wrong button. No one really want to talk to you there. There is an academy there. Pirates are rampant in the system because they actually own the stable points. You could see them chasing that fleet that was leaving. Right, so we could like do a real quick little fight here and get a bit of money. Yeah, I could probably nearly... Ah, oh, yeah, well, they're, they're not going to turn and fight us, are they? Ever. So we can wipe that out. Okay, maybe there isn't a bounty here yet. Probably look that up. Uh, allow the scan. It was our first time um, in this system doing anything like that with the black market, so they weren't going to suspect anything. Well, they did suspect stuff, but they didn't find anything. And we do have an independent over there that we can go over to. Also, let's just take this. No use in the pirates having it. Excellent, the rebellion failed. We lost 45,000 overall throughout the month. It's actually not that bad. We do need to go kill people and make money though. 300,000. Your Baron World and Dwarf Primer Star in the Darwin Nebula. There's only two systems. Um, so we'll head to Byzantium, get more fuel, head out there, get money, we'll be sorted. And now that the rebellion has failed, there, that should start getting better. Let's take off Freeport status, 
then it'll have negative growth, but that's fine for a little bit. It'll have positive stability. Whoa, 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 whoa. Running from Pirate Armada. Hello. Gonna deploy you. Hit the base and let them move in a little bit. Then we're going to deploy some other ships so that they're in behind us. And you know, I'll just capture that. They have no ECM anyway. Beautiful. Flamed him out with the railgun. Take out all their support ships over here, and then we'll head in, mess around with the, the larger ships. But we're already on their flank. They're already running because, yep, they're all dead. <laughs> so these little Hagarin missiles are actually pretty sweet. They're little swarm missiles. They don't do too much damage, but... They're great for activating people's PD. Here comes the other missile swarm. Beautiful. Pursue them with a couple of people. Excellent. Uh, nothing crazy in that fleet, so we don't need anything there. Get a bunch of fuel. There we go. Oh, and that was the raid fleet. 
Cool. That actually really helps out, doesn't it? Uh, we don't need a Phaeton. Continue on. Now we have even more stuff to sell in Byzantium. Remnant Raid. Targeting Polaris. Do we go and... Uh, four fleets. Try farming some AI cores there. Babylon. Get rid of all that. Um. Take the extra supplies, take the fuel, take the fuel. Nothing really crazy in the bazaar. Liberator class siege destroyer. Is that the one I'm thinking? It is. That's a fun little ship. I don't want it right now, but it's a fun little ship. Uh, no freelancer admins there. So we're going to here. Um, because of this bounty. 306,000. If we can pick up that battle cruiser, that would be awesome. Or even that battle cruiser. Make that a railgun battle cruiser. Uh, but yeah, she's in a near barren world in a system with a dwarf prime star. They were saying that's a trinary. And that's a dwarf, so. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh, all these little um, dudes are in here, aren't they? Or maybe not. Oh, oh you do have um, have that great house's bomber. Yeah. Anyway, this shouldn't take much. That being said, we'll apply like that.
Go, World War II fighters, go. Railgun does 2,900 damage on a shield. From with our skills and everything, and less on that one. Two mjolners and an auto pulse. That's not bad. Other than the fact that this um, battle cruiser, its three turrets are locked into a very slight front firing arc. Oops, I was locked on there. Uh, yeah, you guys can get pushed back a little bit. I don't think they get pushed back too far. And then this side is just going to sweep around in a second. We already have people over on the, the flank here. And they're all focused on us. So they're going to get smacked in the face in a second. Just like that. This is why I improved his shields. All the hammers. Again, look at me, look at me. Don't look at the guy with all the big red guns. That you have no shield up to. And dead. Railgun in the ass. Ooh, put a lot of plasma guns on it. Actually, that would be sweet, wouldn't it? becomes a killing field after a while. <clears throat> right, consider ship recovery. Um that has four D mods, so I'm not gonna bother. Not in that big a panic to get it. And that fight was worth three hundred thousand. Still crazy when you consider that we 
went up against the Plague Bearer fleet and barely... So we didn't even... We nearly killed one ship. Uh, we can head to Port Lay. I'm kind of wondering against against that plague bear fleet, would it be good to just drop in a couple of small ships, let that capital ship jump in and wreck them, and then deploy your heavy ships as he jumps in. We are minus minus 100,000 now. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice to have two friendly task forces in the system. Uh, right, well, let's do a clear out here, right? transfer most things over like I want to keep them I know what the hell are you ah. Your POV keeping the plasma drivers The heavy railgun, I was looking at that before, it's an interesting weapon we were facing. I don't use locusts or squalls that much. Or high intensity lasers, to be honest. Not that they're bad or anything. So we'll do that. Uh, go back to storage for a second, put back the bolters, put back the atropos and the ions. There's just a couple of weapons that I want to keep, like the, um, the Abitsu rewards and stuff like that. Plasma batteries. And then after that, I think we're good for now. I guess I'll take a quarter of a million for those. Get a bit of fuel, sort that. Sort that, a little bit tidier.
they're costing us 96 a unit. If we were to take them there, we'd be taking them at 100 per unit. I'll take the field, though. Colony size of 6. Yeah, we're definitely leaving that as a free port. We're doing good on everything, really. You're starting to stabilize. Which will be great. The difference of seven grand. Um, but it doesn't even get us to positive growth. Which is unfortunate. Uh, not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go in here. New Higara. Most stuff isn't even back online yet. So that's fine. Oh, okay, yeah, well, let's do that. You don't need to be a free port. Cool. You'd lose five grand, but your stability would be much better. Let's do that. you'd lose too much if we did that and heavy industry is going to be built there in six days and then commerce is coming along as well that's fine that'll do uh, right so we have a bit of fuel we have supplies for you guys the Imperium is giving a bounty for you for 200,000. How many days left? 10 days. It's kind of close. ORA and the hegemony. And then there's two. Okay. Gas giant. Gas giant. Frozen world. All in dwarf primary stars because everything has a dwarf primary star in that whole nebula so let's uh, do what we did last time we'll jump in on the gas giant who knows maybe there'll be three fleets there or two fleets there the rebellion on new higara failed to disrupt our mining operations Excellent, there is a fleet here. Not quite running. So you have two large pulse lasers. You have two auto pulse lasers. You standard enough fit. Yeah, standard. Okay. Uh, we'll barge through this fleet right now. Uh, we're bringing you guys and you guys. Somebody else go take that. even get to take that good good 
take that assignment off so nobody gets distracted. Everyone look at me. My shiny ship. Everyone look this way while uh, nothing goes on behind you at all. Not escaping. Okay, maybe you are. Kidding. Okay. Someone's firing off a mortar. Uh, yeah, that that seems to be fine. You're in that side. We'll, we'll move back this way and support that cruiser. Doing, we're doing fine. Have they captured the sensor jammer? That's okay. Uh, is that that's the raptor? Yeah, that's right. But the rest of our fleet is wrapping around and probably going to do nasty things. Probably in the process of doing nasty things to them. Yamato is squaring off against one of their battle cruisers. Uh, you have no shield, so I'm going to push you. So now have a missile destroyer at our back. Friendly, of course. Yeah, he'll be fine. Here we go. Yeah, those little SRMs are nasty. And yeah, their retreat is now cut off. They're all in behind us.
High flux and nowhere to go. Beautiful. Not too shabby. Uh, one guy got away, so he can go and tell everyone what happened. And no, I'm not going to take a new battle cruiser. I think we're good with the ships that we have right now. Again, unless we come across something like the Hagarin Dreadnought or something like that. Uh, right. You're dead. He died. So he is in this system because you see this has changed. Um, so if you see here, this guy is still in the Rathen constellation, but he is in this system. He's up at the frozen world in this star system because that's changed. Which is over there. So like if you jump into a system and there's four gas giants and they're all over the place or something like that and that's what your intel says just check again and it'll tell you if you're in the same system would you look at that uh, we have a bit of repairs to do so we'll hold off if you want to run you want to run that's fine you do your thing Castigator. Outdated. Niagara. Heavy auto cannons, assault chain guns, twin linked rail guns. You're still gonna die. Vindicator with that beautiful cannon. What's it called again? The Gungnir. Love that gun. Uh, yeah. Just wipe them out. He dropped his shield at the wrong moment. <laughs> but any moment is the wrong moment against this fleet. Someone will uh, snipe at you from long range. Like that. Triple railgun.
Look at this dude. You're about to die. Maybe the uh, wreckage can save him. I think it has. back a little bit. Get our flux down. Oh, that was savage. So you just disabled half the weapons on that ship with that um, blast. And, uh, yeah, that onslaught is not long for this world. Took out the Mora and the blast as well. Niagara is going to go down too. That Sky Splitter is a nasty ship. Those two large energy mounts. That'll do. Let him go. We don't need to chase anyone down. Take everything. Uh, we don't need that. Take everything else from... Oops. From that. And, of course, there's a base in the system so we can go back. Sell any excess stuff. And we're good on money again. A level 3 pirate fleet has launched from Tech Dune. Technology Fortress. Um, honestly, I'll probably get rid of everything. I kind of just want the money so that I can invest it in um, our colonies. That's that large mortar. Uh, I don't ever use it. Okay, so that's two of those done. We're good on fuel now. We're good on everything. The other one is finished. You don't seem to be doing anything to us right now. That's okay. Hades. Let's just make sure that we're jumping into the right spot. Yep, I want to go in there instead. Oh, 
we'll let them engage it. Means we don't have to waste supplies deploying. Uh, monthly expenses were down a little bit, but we did take a hundred thousand worth of stuff, so that's okay. That is okay. Nice. The high command in the orbital works. Okay. Now we can bring that down with cores. They're nearly finished. Come on, guys, it's just a hangar. There we go. Oh, we have to engage the defense. Okay. I guess we'll engage the defenders. have been engaged. <laughs> oh god, okay. Now let us invade. Okay. Uh, we won't drop any of the larger companies. There's no point. I don't want to keep it intact as well so that we don't have to spend too much time repairing afterwards. So we'll send in a bunch of people. That will do. Automotive turn in abilities. We're going to inspire. Get that morale up. Doesn't feel. Okay. Confirm that. So everything is disrupted, but it's not damaged too bad, so it'll all be back up and running soon enough. And we're actually, we're okay, right, yeah? Yeah. Three out of two, so we're fine. Here's a free port. Uh, we'll go about stabilizing it later on. But we'll also go in here. Give it 200 of each of them. Now we could grant it autonomy as well, and we might start doing that if we start taking a few more colonies. Just so that we don't have to worry about administration and stuff. You make less from them, but still. I think you make 50%. Waiting a couple of days. 
Um, that's back up in a day, and they're back up in six days. So that's fine. Also, commerce is here. It's not going to be making his money straight away or anything like that. Good, our pickets have started to... <laughs> the level 3 pirate fleet has been defeated somewhere. Oh, one more day. See at the end of the month what's happening here. Damn vultures. Eh, let them have it all. kind of wasting supplies and everything, but still. Heading to Ford Ivor. We made 107 grand. He just hasn't made any money from export yet, so that's fine. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to call it there for today. Um, I do really appreciate everyone hanging out. Hope you're having a good Tuesday, and um, hopefully I'll catch you again soon. Uh, we'll throw right over to Torini, who's doing a bit of Star Sector as well. Yeah, um, back on tomorrow, we'll do more. Uh, we might finish this up this week. We'll see.